Hello and welcome to round five of the CCSL. We've switched things up a little bit in terms of how we're going to do this moving forward. Um, we'll actually be showing two matches per video to help speed things along a little bit more. We currently have a matchup between Lucina and Dr. Mario. Uh, Dr. Mario on the road, doing decently well this season, uh, despite a rough start in his first matchup. Now, Lucina doing her best to keep things pretty even. The forward, or that was more of an upwards aerial from Dr. Mario there. He's very far off the side. Lucina with the edge guard is going to take the advantage here. Lucina really needing to turn things around to have a consistent showing. Dr. Mario connects on the Nair, needing to find a kill move to stay accurate. The Uppy's not quite going to do it. Gets the turnaround with the cape. The shield poke, not going to do anything for Lucina this time around. The Dancing Blade, Lucina's going to find herself far off the left or left hand side. Does make it back to the ledge though. And the back throw from Dr. Mario is going to dispatch of her first stock, evening things out. Dr. Mario finding himself at a little bit of a percent disadvantage, about a 40% deficit. Nice down air from Lucina there, short hop down air if you will. Lucina trying to connect again on the Dancing Blade, unable to do so, but the forward smash is going to equalize just as well. Down smash from Dr. Mario right off the bat. Lucina catching Dr. Mario with the uh, up B special back to ledge there. Dr. Mario with the forward aerial, not going to be enough to finalize things. The down smash on the second go around does connect and evens things out stock wise. Next, stock will take this match. Gets the jab combo on Lucina. Dr. Mario spending a lot of uh, resources expelling those pills. The shield poke almost results in the shield break there, but not quite. Dr. Mario connecting a little bit on the down B. Lucina Reno responding with her dancing blade. The parry off the pill swap there. Dr. Mario returning with the parry. Up throw. Combos into a couple of extra moves. Lucina not able to connect on that shield poke that time around. Throws out a counter. Hasn't connected on one of those, I don't think, in the entire season yet. The up smash going to connect, but not enough to end the match. The up air. Lucina looking for a poke off the side. Dr. Mario and Lucina making it back to the left edge there. Dr. Mario finding himself in the red, triple digit percent. One well-placed move from Lucina could very well end this. Shield peak poke wasn't going to be it. Get up attack from Dr. Mario. Excellent work. Lucina could have capitalized, but does not find an opportunity to do so. One well-placed attack is going to do it for either one of these combatants. Lucina sending Dr. Mario to the right side and then back over to the left. The down smash doesn't connect. Finds his way... Back above the ledge with that up B, Lucina connects, but still not enough to kill. The down air from Dr. Mario is going to be his response. The up smash doesn't connect. And both characters go flying, but Dr. Mario stays on the field and thus takes the victory. So Dr. Mario continuing his dominant theme in these matches and Lucina well as impressive as some of her showings have been she's discontinuing to struggle but let's move on to our next matchup where we will witness Piranha Plant on the road at King Dedede. So these two competitors have been 
quite prolific. They're actually some of our better performing combatants. However, neither one of them have managed to maintain an undefeated season. Piranha Plant has been quite diligent, but DDD is a very explosive competitor. So Piranha Plant will need to keep that in mind. Sitting about even currently, DDD fishing for some activity with the Gordo. I've never seen that tech with the Patui, actually. So interesting to keep that in mind. Piranha Plant is uh, quite the percent deficit currently. DDD fishing for some damage with the Nair. Piranha Plant gets to the ledge. A nice get-up attack to stay relevant. Reflects the Gordo back with the dash attack, and that's going to keep him in the game despite being at a hefty percent deficit. But DDD is going to equalize, and we're going to be at 0% on stock 2 for both combatants. Piranha Plant looking to make quicker work of King DDD and perhaps take the stock lead on this set. Got a lot of deep left side st offstage play. Piranha Plant looking to capitalize on the current percent lead that he has. DDD not giving him much of an opportunity to do so. The triple hit from Patui to Gordo to Patui. Racks up damage quite quickly on King DDD. Dash attack's going to send him off to the side. And DDD looking for a little bit of some ledge camping as he seeks to get back onto the stage. Piranha Plant finding a connection with that Gordo in a less than favorable situation. Dash attack again. And the down B from Piranha Plant's not going to be quite enough. The Patui again reflecting the Gordo there. Not enough to kill this time around. But King DDD's Gordo in the using his inhale ability will be enough on this occasion. And the up tilt isn't going to be enough. And the Patui doesn't quite connect. Getting some aerial play there. Still not enough. King DDD at 200%. We've never seen Piranha Plant have this much difficulty killing a character. The upwards aerial from King DDD. And the dash attack is finally going to equalize. Piranha Plant needs to play very conservatively and aggressive as well in order to have a deficit uh, reversal. Where he's up at 100%, hasn't gotten a single hit on DDD. As I say that, he manages to land the Patui. DDD gets the neutral B. Follows up with the quick attack back behind him. DDD with the grab and the back throw, not going to be enough. Piranha Plant does not connect on the Patui, makes it back to the ledge on the left hand side. Both combatants connect a little bit there, but not quite enough for what Piranha Plant needs to stay in this. DDD sends off again with that back throw. Again, not enough power to actually take out the stock, but the backwards aerial is going to do that and give DDD the victory in this matchup. So King DDD proving to be quite the menace in these matchups as he makes fun of Piranha Plant here. It's uh, been quite a showcase from these two, so it'll be interesting to continue watching their progression in these upcoming matchups. Uh, thanks again for watching. I hope that these are a little bit more quick pace and more enjoyable. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. We will be back in two days time with the next set of matchups starting with link on the road at robin this will actually be robin's first home game so an interesting showing from him and then we will follow up that match with hero on the road at pikachu who picked up his first victory in last week's matchup so thanks again for your support and you have a great rest of your day